Tirana, Albania. One thing this country is very well known for is its incredible cuisine and we are so excited because today we're teaming up with Go As Local and we will be learning how to make some traditional cuisine. Now we've already had a look at the menu and there are two main meals as well as one dessert that we're going to learn how to make and one of those things is something that we absolutely love so we're so excited to go and learn how to make it for ourselves. And that's not all because once we're nice and full from our delicious cooking class we want to go around and show you guys some of Tiriana. We're Sarah and Marek, amateur backpackers who somehow managed to travel around Europe for a whole year for under $10,000. From working on sailboats to hitchhiking across three countries, our budget travels have been anything but boring. We're about to start a trip through the infamous Balkans, eight countries in six weeks. Can we do it? Subscribe to find out. with three dishes. So the first dish cooked in a, uh, the casserole pot will be something that we call uh, tough cosin, which is basically a mix of uh, yogurt sauce with, uh, with beef or something that we also call it. We rely to our Independence Day and we call it uh, the dish of independence since it was uh, one of the most favorite dishes of our first Prime Minister in uh, 1912. long communist history yes. after the Second World War. So uh, most of, uh, especially in the end of the time, uh, we start to struggle uh, with even with the food. So the cornbread was what most of the people will be fed for most of their lives. So the idea will build appetizer cornbread in the, the veins. And we will apply a layer of cottage cheese. Then we'll have some tomatoes. I get to taste the fruits of my labor. Mmm, that's really nice. Mm. So, Marek, you will need to separate the bones from, from the meat, leave it aside and cut. The, the meat into this size. This meat has only been boiled for about seven minutes. And why do they boil it? Do you remember? <laughs> why do we boil? We boil it to create a, a beef stock that will That's also well. use it for creating the, the sauce. Ah, the so okay. it's an important step. <laughs> So now we're going to put the meat in the oven for no more than five minutes. Oh, you want to? Sorry. Can't forget that one. second one will be a traditional burek that we call it lacrore actually. It's uh, different from the classic thick burek. This one is mainly two layers with uh, uh, fillings that can be changed depends on the season. The 
Is the one that I was looking forward to the most called Tub Cost. That is really good. Eh? It takes a while for the flavor to build, but it just gets better and better and better and better. It starts off pretty plain, yeah. creamy, meaty. It just gets richer and richer. Like we're taking this one home, eh? Mm. This one we're making it home. We need to find the clay pot. Whatever we can have we're making this as soon as we get home. And now it's time to the dish I was looking forward to the most, the burek. We're not actually used to seeing it this way. We're used to a different sort of style as the way that they make it, but this looks and smells incredible and I'm so excited. About this I'm even more excited because I rolled this pastry and like I made this like I'm so excited the first word that pops into my head is just like fresh 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 because we've just made it this is definitely the best spinach and cheese one I've tasted your love is what I need With the shechet part, you have rakia, but it's a cooked rakia. So you have rakia, water, honey, cloves, and cinnamon. It's put onto the stove, it's brought to a little water boil. What it does is it takes away the sting, yeah? it takes away the sting of the actual rakia. So it's really sweet, it's strong, but it doesn't sting all at the same time. It's a perfect little dessert drink. I'm very happy that I'll be able to recreate these 
at yeah, home. Please send us photos. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. We get very proud when, when people send us photos. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Really enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> 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 You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what makes that tour so incredible is that we not only got to taste some incredible food, but we got to make it with our own hands and we get to take that home with us. I am genuinely excited to make that food for my family. Now what's so cool about that tour is that they've tailored it in such a way that the ingredients that we used are readily available around the world. So we can quite easily go to our local supermarket back home and pick up exactly what we need to make the dishes that we ate today. And that is just, it's incredible, really. Join us next time as we head out and explore Tehran including a stop-off at a rather interesting market. You want an Albanian passport? No. <laughs> 2,000 lek. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you in the next one.